Guys, we've submitted three 1958 Philadelphia mint sets for grading to NGC. It's uh, March 10th, today, 2020. We've turned in three pennies, three nickels, three dimes, three quarters, and three halves. Uh, I'll be showing you some pictures here of the paperwork that goes along with turning these coins in for grading, the fees associated with grading, uh, the expected wait time, some information I found out today from NGC, the company as well, about when you send your coins in, how you have to declare coin value on the coins, about insurance when sending the coins in, insurance through the UP, uh, the mail service that you use to send the coins in, requiring a signature when you send it in, all those types of things. Got some uh, pictures for you here of the pennies that we're hoping will come back as a top population penny. Just a little bit of stuff here that you need to look at and be aware of whenever you're submitting coins for grading with NGC. I'm not a member of PCGS yet. I will be using them before long, hopefully. I just wanted to come on and give everybody a little bit of insight about what to expect whenever you're turning these coins in. We'll jump into this here. I'll get some paperwork up on the screen for you. We'll uh, look over this and you can see what I'm talking about. the form that you fill out when you submit coins we're going to go over a few of the uh, fields inside the form we'll be starting out with box number 11 right here which is your quantity this you got to make sure this is right and that each one has the same mint mark starting out again we'll go with the declared value of each coin and that's of each coin then we'll go back here and you can see that this part is the uh, total of the declared value. Moving on, you have to have the total number of coins right. And make sure that your fees, handling, and how much it is per coin... All totals up to be the right amount right here. And then last but not least, you have, you know, your payment information. That way they can come back and charge you when they get the forms. So guys, that's what you are looking at when you're filling out your paperwork to submit your coins to NGC. Is that right there? Uh, some of the main points is make sure you put enough insurance on your package when you're mailing it. I use Priority Mail with the U.S. Postal Service, and uh, it's like extra 20 bucks per thousand for insurance. You want to uh, be sure on the front cover of your submission form, you know, for them to ship it back to you, you have to de declare how many coins and the value of the declared coins. Make sure you get that stuff right. One thing about the grading company, if you send a coin in and you haven't declared a value as high as what it grades at, they'll call you, notify you, tell you, you know, that your coin is a lot better shape, it's worth a whole lot more money than you expected, and they'll move you up a tier on the grading and on the handling fees. And that's one good thing about it is that you can... You're, you are covered whenever your coin is worth a whole lot more, but you, at the same time, whatever billing information you give them, they'll bill that information, that card, uh, however that you deal with them, you know, you have to pay extra for that. It's just a little something to be aware of when you're dealing with NGC or PCGS, you know, you gotta look at those kind of things. But 
I just wanted to come on and give everybody a quick update. We, you know, we're praying that one of these coins come back a top pop. You know, one of the pennies or one of the nickels will come back, you know, uh, a 67, maybe full steps. I checked them, they look good, they're real close. Uh, maybe one of the dimes will come back, you know, a 67 or 68 with a full torch. Uh, that way we can come out ahead of what we had to pay for the grading, the mint sets, and, you know, all the shipping and stuff. So, I can't wait to get back. Please comment below what you think these coins will make. Uh, I never took them out of the cellophane to look at them, so I can't say they're perfect, but I did look at them pretty close, and most of the coins are pretty good. I'm going to make a prediction of... Uh, at least a 67 with the pennies, at least a 67 with the nickels. Uh, the dimes weren't the best in the world, but I'm gonna say a 66 with a full torch. The quarters, I'm looking for a 67, and the halves, a uh, 66, and might have one with full bell lines. Hope and pray, guys. Please comment below what you think, if you've had any kind of dealings with sending mint sets in, what you predict the grade will come back as, I enjoy doing this kind of thing. I hope you guys, if you got any questions about this paperwork or anything that I'm telling you see, please feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to help. Guys, have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. The, uh, at the end of this video is the subscription video, or the uh, giveaway video. If you've not entered to win, we're giving away a 1934 piece dollar with a real low mintage in uh, April. It's gonna be the end of April the giveaway will be during a live feed here on YouTube. You must be present to win. Like, comment, share this next video, guys. Thank you for coming. We enjoy each and every one of you, and we enjoy doing this so much. We'll see you guys next time.